YouTube. Back on the 63 Impala. Right here on the rockers. Got the jack up under it because the car wanted to basically fold in half. Because the rockers are all rotted out. So, what I did was I started right here. And I put this patch piece in. And I kind of butt rubbered it in, you know. Just got off of work. Sided. Friday. But, well, this in. And then I realized that this side right here shouldn't have been butt welded, it should have just went on that side. Just looking at the other side, I can see that it should have overlapped this side right here, but I butt welded it in. So, like, should I take it out or should I keep it in? But my butt welding skills ain't that good. I ain't never did nothing like this before. So, what I decided to do was fabricate a piece. So, just overlap it like that. It's about 16 gauge steel, 18 gauge steel, something like that. Okay. Overlap it like that. And then I was like, wanted to kind of look kind of professional, you know. Like I said, like I said, my butt welding skills ain't the best, so I'm kind of nervous with the butt welding, but. This is my rocker panel. I'm not going to replace the whole rocker. Save as much as I can. Probably cut off about this much of it. Like to, like to this line right here where the camera cut off. This much of it and use it. Because I'm missing the piece under there. You need to attach it to go to the quarter. I don't know if y'all can see that at the focus. So, that's it. Probably just going to cut. This piece off where the black line is, right there, and butt weld it in. Like I stated, like I said, my butt weld skills ain't the greatest. Yeah. Just learning how to teach myself how to weld. So, Put that piece back on. That it's got good coverage to it. Flows all the way into the rocker panel. But probably look better butt welder, huh? Then I went and grabbed this piece right here, this trim piece. I put it over it, lined it up with the holes. It's kinda hard to film it in at the same time. put that piece on I noticed that you can't even see the piece so probably gonna end up just lap welding that right over it and to give it a lot of strength too because it'll tie this B pillar to the rocker real good versus trying to butt weld it and like I said I don't know what I'm doing really with the butt weld so don't want to be riding down the highway at 60 miles per hour and the rocker pop a loose so I think I'm gonna just lap well that, give it a lot of strength. Probably punch some holes right here, right in there, everywhere. And plug weld in there, and then just stitch weld it along the sides. And I still ain't figured out what I want to do with this part right here, down here. So I want to cut that bad metal out. And it's just layers and layers. Of you know they want this to be strong, so it's layers and layers of steel. You know, and it's not gonna be a, a chip foos type of car. So some of the stuff you can't see is gonna be it's gonna be strong, but it probably not gonna be factory correct. Concourse, Pebble Beach. <laughs> So, yep, that's where I'm at. Working on the Friday night. Get 
get that piece in, fill these slits back in, and find some kind of way to tie it to that piece over here, the rocker. I'm just gonna build it for strength. You know, get that curve going right there. A little more finesse that need to be done on the patch panel, but tie it all together and make it strong is what I'm thinking. So the car stop breaking in half. So I get the jack from under it. <laughs> yep. So we'll be back YouTube. YouTube. Stay tuned.